Well, I just dropped off some mail and I thought, hey, let's chat on the way home. I have about nine minutes until I pull into my driveway. So what is on my mind? This is my travel time chit chat mini version because it's only gonna be nine minutes long unless of course there's an accident or road construction or something like that, which there wasn't on the way here. So I don't think I'll be seeing the road construction. Uh, all right, so I know some of you love my road, my travel time chit chat chats and other people I don't think like it because the average view duration on those videos, which could be like an hour long video and most people last for about 10 minutes and then they say, I'm out of here. Um, but at least, hey, they gave me 10 minutes. So I appreciate that 10 minutes time, time that they stuck around and hung around. So I'm trying to figure out again, why do I feel like I'm constantly saying, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my business. You know, last year, I wasn't thinking this that often, but this year with the pandemic, it's just like a roller coaster ride, up and down, up and down. And so I'm just trying to figure out where I need to align myself in, where am I comfortable and all that kind of stuff. And I did a video yesterday about just kind of feeling a little burnt out from fulfillment by me on Merchant, on um, Amazon. And today I spent some time listing on eBay and getting that stuff up and going. And, um, and I'm just really excited because towards the end of my live stream I did a little while ago, we were talking about auctions again and just doing some buy it now videos and putting them up on, e on YouTube and maybe finding a way to use YouTube to sell some of my goods. And I'm gonna open up my channel to other people to come on and sell some of their goods. So I'm really kind of excited. So there's a gentleman, Paul Antonelli. I think that's how you say his name. He has a channel and I'm pretty sure that's the name of his channel. But on Wednesdays, he has a virtual flea market and you can go on and you can sell your stuff or of course you can go on and watch and buy people's things. And I just love that concept. I really, really like it. And I think I might do something similar on my channel where I'm gonna sell my own stuff, but other people can come on and sell their stuff also. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be like an auction. It can be, hey, I got this, you know, 20 pounds of Legos and I'm looking to sell it for a hundred bucks because I think they say it's going for like five dollars a pound so let's say you had 20 pounds of Legos and you could just come on and say I'm looking for a hundred dollars on it and maybe nobody who's watching right at that moment is interested but somebody um, two days later is watching that video and says oh yeah these people do buy it now and sometimes people don't buy things right away so I can watch it find those Legos be interested in it and then uh, they can contact you and we'll have a way for people to see and contact somebody who showcased items on that show. So I'm kind of really excited. I'm excited about it. I just got to figure out how to launch it and get people lined up that might want to come on and show their stuff also. And I'll be showing my stuff and I don't know. I don't know if an hour will keep people's attention long enough, two hours. I just, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll kind of work it, work it out a little bit get something going to start and maybe even tweak it as we go along and I'm open for feedback I really would like to know what do people like when they are are shopping and have you shopped online have you or not online but on YouTube have you gone to some of those shows like the virtual flea market and have you seen things that you know, catch your eye like I bought a shirt a couple weeks ago I bought a shirt at one of them and I bought a new purse and I like love the purse so I mean somebody just passed me guess I'm not going fast enough probably because I'm talking to my phone <laughs> so um, so I'm just kind of curious if people are really like if they're going and if they if they like it the thing is is you can go on eBay if you're looking for something and you can you can see like let's say you're interested in a shirt you see a picture of the shirt you see a picture of the tag 
see the back of the shirt. But on a YouTube, you see the shirt and somebody can turn it. If it's a music box, they can play the music. They can, um, you know, just like video just offers you so much more on being able to be a good buyer on being able to see things to decide if you want them versus flat 2D photos type of thing. So I'm really kind of excited about it and I've been hemming and hawing and talking about it for the last month and it just seems to be, I don't know if it's just the circle of resellers that I hang out in and the channels that I watch, but more and more of them seem to be jumping on that bandwagon and it's just a matter of how do we pull in non-resellers, right? If you're, if, unless your target mar our audience is resellers or how do we pull in non-YouTubers. I was watching, oh, I think it may have been, and I know, I think it was Scott from the Bearded Picker yesterday on his channel. He was saying how, I think it was him. I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to figure out if it was him or if it was somebody else, because I watch a lot of YouTube when I'm listing and taking pictures and doing whatever. But I think it may have been the Bearded Picker's channel, and he was saying that most of the people in his chat you know, now I'm thinking it maybe not wasn't him. All right, I'll get to the point. I guess it doesn't matter who it is, but the person was saying that they're pretty sure whoever the people that are in the chat have YouTube channels. And, and that a lot of the people watching are actually YouTubers themselves. Um, so I am open to ideas of how do we get non-YouTubers to come in and watch these virtual flea markets and get them to kind of maybe find something that they're looking for and and shop with us and you know not just with myself but with other uh, youtubers that are doing these virtual flea markets doing auctions doing any of that any of that type of stuff I just really like it I like the idea of it and I know I'm kind of I'm, I'm excited again for it and I'm excited just to kind of as I was saying yesterday, where'd the fun go? Because I've been so busy with shipping and shipping and shipping and shipping and shipping. Uh, I just don't want to ship anymore right now. So um, so let's find some more fun to mix in with all the shipping, right? Because we want to ship. Shipping means we're selling stuff and I want to sell stuff. I, I'm excited about selling. It's just the tedious work of shipping. So let's add some fun back into it. And I think that doing these auctions or doing these virtual flea markets and things like that are going to be adding fun back into my reselling world. And it also is going to be starting, um, you know, quarter four is coming up and, and not Christmas, but uh, well, Christmas too, but winter. And I know we're only in August, but I got to think ahead all the time. You got to be thinking about what's coming up and what's in the future. And winter is going to be coming and what comes with winter up here in New York is snow. We get so much snow and it's cold and I don't want to go out and source in the snowstorms and have to shovel and wipe my car and wear a winter jacket. I get hot in the store with the winter jacket. So it's just all that stuff. So what can we do to kind of help things along and um, just be different, right? More and more people are shopping online. So this online selling on other platforms like using YouTube as a selling platform is just it's amazing I love it I love the idea of it and I know I've been seeing it for quite a while there's Donatella I think she's been selling for at least two maybe three years been doing doing auctions and stuff like that I know I've I know I've seen her on there for quite a while doing it and I'm just not into jewelry she does a lot of jewelry so I don't really watch them very often if it's mostly jewelry or uh, is it called ephemera, where it's like vintage papers and stuff like that? A lot of people do that type of stuff. I'm, I just don't really, haven't found that excites me, so I have never really gone into that realm of stuff, and I'm not a jewelry wearer, um, and I just don't wanna have to, the amount of work that comes with ephemera and looking up old stuff, and oh, that seems like a lot of work, and it's just not anything I really wanna put the work into. So I've been hanging out in other type of auctions and just kind of seeing how people are doing what they're doing. And I don't know, we'll give it a shot. So I guess I beat that horse to death, right? 
I, it's probably not a very good saying, is it? Beat the horse to death. If you're a horse lover, you probably don't like that saying. So I apologize for those that I may offended with that saying. Um, but I have said that over and over and over again that, okay, we're done with that. Um, and I'm home. So it's been, oh, it took me 10 minutes to get home. I thought it was going to be nine. Must be I was driving slower and that's why that person passed me. Um, all right, anyhow. Let me know what you think about that auction, virtual flea market. If you are interested in coming on my show, let me know because I'm going to start lining up my uh, people who want to show stuff on my first few shows before we go live. That way, once we get live, um, you know, people will start asking once they start to see stuff. But I need stuff, people to start off with from the beginning. So I would appreciate it if you'd like to do that. And I don't know exactly when I'm going to start that. Um, may not be to the end of August. Yeah, probably maybe the end of August because I think I might take a trip next week, and I and I know I have a tr trip the week after that because uh, my mom has a doctor's appointment in the in Vermont, and I gotta go to Vermont, and we have to stay overnight for that appointment. So, um, so I probably won't be doing it. Well, I I probably could do it that week, but it'd be later in the week. So it might be something I'd do on Thursdays. Uh, so if it's something that you're interested in on a Thursday afternoon let me know and I'll put you on my schedule. All right. Thanks a lot for stopping in my channel for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you're excited about possible doing these virtual uh, flea markets and maybe even um, participating or buying from them, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I go live, so you know when I'm having those really cool sales going on. And that's about it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.